uh, uh, going to the, I guess, the guts of school board policy, um, one of the policies that I've noticed just as a journalist is that when employees are suspended or terminated, they're referred to in board agendas by their, by their uh, employee ID as opposed to names. Do you favor that practice and uh, why or why not? So here's the trouble. It depends on, a case. again, going back to the legal issue. One, one of the biggest frustrations parents come to me and talk about as they go, so-and-so it's at this school got suspended and they're not telling us anything. Well, there's a reason that you're not told anything because frankly, due process and privacy is uh, paramount to be protected because allegations are allegations until they're substantiated through investigation and then through in, in the normal process of a, of a criminal analysis, then you have a trial and then you have a conviction. That's why there's a presumption of innocence until proven guilty because in human society, and ours is no exception, the court of public opinion wants to draw and quarter everybody, first and foremost, as soon as the allegation is out there. And what if it is false? What if it is not accurate? And that's why, until there is an investigation, a fact gathering um, uh, process, that we don't say anything uh, to the public until we have more to say. Now, that is uh, important to maintain. I support that. Um, but after that point, if you are found to have done something wrong and you're being terminated, you know, that's only an employee number, only a, uh, only some sort of cryptic reference to why somebody's being fired. If the law says we have to do that, I'm not familiar with it. And more so, it feels as though that the district would be doing that simply to avoid the public circus that could follow the termination of someone. Now, I'm not interested in, frankly, I, I'm pro-transparency. And if people are upset and someone has been terminated because of, for cause, you know, just trying to avoid some sort of public review and oversight of that process by using employee ID numbers or something like that, you know, unless it's required by the law, I'm, I'm not scared of transparency and open government. Let's Let's send it out there. People want to know, and they have at that point the right to know without there being undue damage to the uh, to the institution or, or the people who have been let go. Because if you did your investigation and they're being let go, then that's that. 